On this episode of It's Me or the Dog, Victoria enters a household divided. Phoebe says no men allowed. The Shelton family is split down the middle. The son Spencer and dad Joe have had enough, yet the women in the household cherish Junie D. I love Junie D. Once the kids get home, Victoria learns about Spencer's frustrations with Junie B. My mom and my sister get this love, and we get the aggression from her, and I don't think it's fair at all. Abby, what do you think is going on in Junie B's head? I think some of the fault is Spencer's, because he's always shooting rubber bands at her. Tell me, tell me about these elastic bands. Uh, yeah, I have these um, rubber band guns. They just shoot little elastic bands. They don't hurt much. But I never shoot her, I just joke you around. You shot her yesterday. Yeah, but. I feel sorry for Spencer because this was supposed to be his dog, but it's a dog that will just not allow him near her. Hey, I understand you're frustrated. Totally get it. I would be too if I was in a house with a dog that growled at me for three years. Try to bite me, but you're not gonna make things better. Victoria starts off the training with a lesson on personal space. Everybody has, I call it a space bubble around them. And you let people that you know and you love into that bubble. Dogs also have a space bubble around them. But we humans are always invading their space without being invited. And that causes so many problems, especially for a nervous dog. That's your space bubble. That's your space bubble too. Let's say you don't know me, okay? Now I want you to react like Junie B reacts when I get too close for comfort. Whoa, I'm stepping back from that. What about, Spencer, if I do this? Oh, you're such a cute little boy. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, it's strange. A, you haven't given me permission to come into your space. You certainly don't want to be touched by somebody who you don't know on your head. So that's what Junie B's going through because she is having people invade her space all the time. She is having people coming up to her and smiling. Hi. Oh, what's that? That she just sees my teeth. Also, I'm staring. When Victoria came into my bubble, it just felt strange and that I thought, no, well, why are they coming into my bubble and why are they doing this to me? I feel unsafe and I wanted to run away. How'd that feel? Uh, very intimidating. You can make it easier for her by doing other things. First, I could approach just sort of with my side body because that is smaller. Then I could approach like this, the look and the look away. Look, look away. And what you're actually doing there is you're talking dog. They avert their eyes. It's no threat. The stare is a threat. Aversion is not. Abby and Spencer each take a turn at using the side body approach. Fabulous. So now you can tell your friends about space, how important it is, and what they should do when they come over to your house. One frequent visitor to the house is Spencer's friend, Samuel. <laughs> Victoria wants Junie B to start building some positive associations with the boys. Spencer has in the past got very frustrated with Junie B, and I think sometimes he's taken out that frustration on her. It was important to illustrate, A, just what the world is like from Junie B's point of view, but also to say, you know, this is how you can develop a relationship. Abby, can you bring Junie B in? Hi. She loves food. And that's great for us because we can use it. Victoria entices Junie B out of the safety of Abby's lap with a small piece of hot dog. You're such a good girl. Then has the boys do the same. And this is just building up a positive association for Junie B that you know what? 
Spencer and Samuel are the source of good things, not bad things. Now, one more thing. Do you want to just lie down on the floor on your stomachs? Like okay. this. Now, when I stand up, I look pretty tall from down there, don't I? Imagine living your whole life being much smaller than everybody else, having these huge, great big feet tramping past you, and you don't speak this weird person's language because you're a different species. You don't know that I'm not going to be threatening. A little daunting, huh? Mm -hmm. A little. OK. A little. That's what Junie B goes through every day. So, Spencer, when you do get frustrated with her, try and remember what the world is like from her point of view. It was interesting to see Junie's point of view because I never thought of Junie being that small and her seeing the world around her as this. And it was an eye-opener for me. OK. Thank Bye. you, Victoria. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No guns, no pointy fingers. It's day one without Victoria, and Spencer and his friend Samuel are keen to keep up with the training. Touch. Good girl. Junie B is on her best behavior, and so are the boys. Good girl. All right, that was good. See? Good job. As long as you invite her in and let her know that she's your friend, it's good. Good girl.